Hi everyone, so welcome back to a new video. Today is day 7 of our 30 days of JavaScript challenge. The question today is Array Reduce Transformation. This is an easy level question. So let's move to the problem description. We have been given an array which is called nums, okay, and we have a reducer function fn and an initial value in it, okay. Now, what we have to do, we need to return a reduced array, okay. This they are saying that this reduced array is created by applying the following operation. So they are telling basically that if we have a value, okay. Now what we have to do this function, right? What is happening basically in this function? We are summing up two values, okay. So there is initial function, right? So this initial function and in it will be initial function and nums zeroth index value will be summed up okay and it will be returned here and we have to store this in a variable now let's say that the name of the variable is val now this val has some value let's take for an example that in the nums has 1 2 3 as values and initial is 0 okay now for the first step when we are assigning value to val right now in this what is happening we have 0 and nums at 0 is 1 so what we basically are assigning to val we are assigning 1 to val right now in the second step what is happening the val value is getting updated every time right now what is happening here once we have assigned the initial value to this val after that what is happening the function is carrying val only now Okay, so this function is carrying val and the nums index from 1. Okay, from 1 to whatever n value is there, it will carry. Now, in this, within this loop or within this part, what is happening basically? If, like uh, in the example, we had taken two, uh, 1, 2, 3 as an array, right? So, now our val is con containing 1. So now when we are passing this val in the function, so we are passing 1 here and our nums at first position is 2. So basically what we are doing, we are summing up 1 and 2 and again it will be stored in val only. Okay. Now this val has 3. Val got updated to 3 and now again what we have to do, we have the arrays 1, 2, 3, right. And what we are doing, we are passing values from in the array from uh, index at 1 to n so this 3 will also be go here uh, be going here and the value will be passed as another parameter now as we move forward we have the function right now what we are passing here we are passing here 3 and 3 so this fn will re uh, uh, return the sum of 3 plus 3 that is 6 right so this val go, uh, gets updated to 3 plus 3 and stores 6 now so this is basically what is happening in this reducer function. So this reducer function actually resembles the reduce function of the uh, JavaScript. That is uh, what happens in that function is if we have a reduce function. Okay. So like in the previous function uh, questions we saw that we had filter, we had mapping. So the thing about these both methods are that they both return, both return arrays, okay. And this reduce function, it returns only one value, only one value. It does not return an array, does not return array. So the basic function of reduce method is if we have let's say the array 1, 2, 3, 4 okay and let's say its name is ARR. Now if we want to reduce the value of this function so what we have to do we uh, let's say that the variable in which we are storing this reduced value is reduced array okay. Now, how we have to use the reduce function like in the previous filter function. If you haven't checked out the filter video, you can uh, check it out and I will also, also mention the link in the description 
from there you can directly access it so moving forward in this reduce how we have to use this is uh, similar to a, uh, that a filter method only but the thing is we have array returned in filter and map method and here we have only single value so in this reduce method what we have to do we have to pass let's say two values okay and inside this function let's say we want to add it up okay we want to add all the values in the array so we will just return a plus b so what will happen here when this array is passed in this reduce function right now what will happen it will take one and two okay it will sum it up and it will return three in the same way it will sum up all the three values all the four values one plus two plus three plus four and in the reduced array the value returned will be 10 so this is what happens in reduce method i hope you all got to know about reduce method and in this question we have been explicitly asked that we cannot use array dot reduce method to solve this question whatever we have to do we will be doing it using a loop only we can use for loop or while loop i will be going forward with for loop for this and uh, let's move forward for the approach of this question so now we have the length of the array so we will take the array name is nums right so we have nums dot length now we have the array and array length now what we have to do they have asked us here that we have some initial value here right they have given us some initial value and in the first step it is getting added right and for the further values if we have we have stored this initial and initial plus zeroth index sum in a variable let's say val then what we are doing we are passing this val after that in every function iteration right so basically what we can do here we can initialize this val with initial value so by passing val only once we can uh, iterate and we it will uh, reduce one step of our function where we have to pass the value for uh, in the function separately right if if we are not initializing val with initial value okay we are not doing this then what we have to do we have to pass the function uh, we have to take a val uh, means take this value okay and we need to send the init, uh, initial value to the function and again we have to pass the zeroth index element right and after that what we need to do after that again for loop if we are using a loop inside that we need to start this from nums of one from the first index right so we can avoid this extra statement by just this extra statement by just initializing the value of val by init right if we are initializing val with init let's say we have assigned init to it now what we can do we we can just avoid this step right and here if we are passing the function what we can do we can just pass val because it will have the initial value right and zero will be go going there and uh, let's say the first position was one so it will send the required uh, uh, value as what was expected so for making our task easy we will send val uh, assign in it to val and we will start our loop so this loop will be starting from zero till less than n and the counter value will be incremented now what we have to do the summing value whatever we are summing it up it is carried on in the reduce function so what we basically have to do we just need to store it in val so that every time we pass the value in val it will keep keep getting updated right so what we have to do we are storing value in val only val fn we are passing val and nums of i right so this is how we are storing the value and out of the loop what we will do we will simply return val 
so this is basically what we have to do for solving this question let's move on to the code so whatever little doubts are there it will be cleared with it so let's move on to the code okay so for the first step what we were doing we were taking the length of the array right so we will take the length of the array and now after taking the length of the array what we were doing we were assigning the value of initial or the whatever initial value was provided to us we were assigning it to a value right so we are taking val and we are assigning in it to it and now we will start a loop let i is equals to 0 and it will be going till less than n and we will increment the value now we have the loop inside this what we will do we will simply get the value in the val and we will pass that val in the reduce function so that our summed value will be returned now what we will do we will send val in the function with nums of i right so nums of i now we have the reduced function and it is getting stored in val so we need to return that val so outside this loop what we will do we will return val let's try to uh, run this code now so that sample test cases have passed let's try to submit it So this code has been accepted. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. Also subscribe to my channel in order to continue with me in this coding journey. And hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching.